Oh, I'm on the wrong camera setting. Whoops. <laughs> I have to go ahead and start. Hey, everybody. Give me one second. Um... There we go. <laughs> All righty. We'll give it a few minutes for people to flood in here. In the meantime, I'm going to put this phone back on charge so this one doesn't die on me. And I have that to where I need it. All right. You can double show I have the right camera I'm looking at. So I'm not looking at my computer and not facing you guys. <laughs> We got our trivia questions for tonight. Let's see here. This package, I don't remember. Oh, this is from me as coins. All right. For me as coins, I got a, one of our play money, $100 bill things. I got a 2011 NISC Kennedy. Hey, Hunter. Just wasting a little bit of time doing a mail call till the chat fills up a little bit and I will once again put the link into the chat for whoever wants to come up and hang out with us. Can I pin it from up here? What? I don't want to put myself in timeout. Oh, well. And then we got one of Mia's silver, silver, silver stickers. Turns out I did have one. I'll have to talk to Mia later and see if she wants me to send back her other one or use it for a future giveaway. And then I won this on Mia's coins. I got one of her silver rounds. Uh, three nines fine. That was made by Bradley Height. I forget the actual channel name who this is. Hey, Joey Brown, welcome. Thank you very much. Just giving it a few minutes for people to come on in. I'm doing a small mail call. Fun didn't start just yet. I got a couple of Ghost Nancy T stickers. Truly amazing. Hello, welcome. Just waiting for a few people to show up and then we'll start having some fun. But in the meantime, I figure do some mail calls since I haven't done one in forever. Got a very nice little one grain bar, which I will have to take out later on tonight during intermission when we have intermission. Just someone, if you don't mind reminding me if you're still around or if I don't end the stream abruptly.
Fortunately, I didn't get a chance to type out a lot of questions because I was busy today, but I'm sure we'll still be able to see the question from the um, chat. Just gotta make sure I read it the right way. Okay, there we go. David Carlo, how are you? Point on around, Ray. Welcome, Raiders. Um, I don't think I can end up pull them up here. I'm not sure how to do that. Let's see. Show me treasure. Hello, welcome. Thank our cards. Hello, welcome. Awesome. Welcome, everybody. All right, now we have some people coming in. Let me open a notepad so I keep track of what who has what. What's up? And then I'll turn the camera around, pick a random card out of the box. So we have, <laughs> hey, we have West Coast and we have Tupac Cornwall Hunter. Hello. 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 Why is everybody low on my phone? Why can't I not hear anybody? Hello. <laughs> I just turned everything all the way up. Hopefully you guys sound louder now. Ooh. I hope so. I'm ready wow. for some <laughs> trivial pursuit. Trivia pursuit. Let's go. Dude, I'm ready for some trivia. Trivia. <laughs> Long time no see, trigger. everybody. <laughs> okay, my bad. Mate. I should have my other tab on StreamYard so I could keep track of the timer. La! All right. Who's that guy? Hello, I Dave. I can barely hear you guys. Hello, Hunter. Hello, Dagger. Chantel. Yeah, no, I cannot hear you guys. You can't hear me? All right. You can't hear Barely. Us? You're all really low. I'm going to refresh. Um, so That's just give me a few seconds. I'll be right back because I cannot hear you guys at all. Weird. You Weird. got it. Whoa. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Robert says, we're here. I'm fine. Hello, Robert. <laughs> Hola. Is that better? Much better. We didn't start the fire. All right. Hey, you know you got a uh, device is not connected in the in the basement. Yeah, I'm. I can't figure out how to throw that one out of here. I mean, I'm on my computer watching as well, but I don't know why that one did. The, oh, that's right, my c camera went off on me. But you only need to see two of me. <laughs> two. That'd be confusing. That would be. I'd be like, <laughs> which camera do I look at? I can't look sideways or else I'm exposed. <laughs> oh no, don't reveal the identity. Yes. Ugh. All right, okay. Padre game's on. I'm going to watch Padre game too. Are they winning? Uh, uh, yeah, one to nothing. Oh. We have to win literally every single game for the rest of the season to get in the wild card, and everyone else has to lose. So let's go. Every game. Uh oh. Is Hunter getting inappropriate again? Hunter. I'm <laughs> just kidding. What? You're awesome, Hunter. <laughs> no, he, just, he just said the, the B word instead of uh, adult beverage. Oh, Brewski. Nothing too major. We're going to keep with the purple theme and have a grapefruit roll up. Nice. Okay, so the lighting here does not work. I might have to just use my computer Ooh. camera because, yeah, that lighting is worse than the TV lighting from last night. You can't even see what the card says. All right. Let me turn on my um, other camera, and I will get rid of my other me in the basement then. Once my mouse lets me work, not me work. that uh, quicking thing. Whoa. What did you say? What would you call me? Not in. Just my mouse is taking a fit, and I not let me click anything. 
I need to get an actual mouse instead of a touchpad. Awkward. <laughs> But in a good way. We're going to sit here and eat some fruit roll-ups. <laughs> Let's do it from a side side angle. Side angle fruit roll-up eating. Okay, I'm going to turn my uh, mail on so I can hear my cracklies. Crackly. That was, that was a lot of fun. And some people hanging out. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out. And... Going through some more nickels. That was lurking. We found some stuff. We found some, mm -hmm. uh, a couple of die cracks and some lamination there. A laminated nickel that BH Ringer got. I was there. I was there. I was lurking. Nice. That's being hidden in the in the shadows. Making sure the world doesn't end. Uh oh, we lost Silver Keeper. Oh, yeah, he's switching over to his computer. That's right. Yeah, give me one second, guys. My computer just literally had a huge fit when I'm trying to move my cursor around. <laughs> I hate when I bump stuff over here. If I accidentally bump the thing, then my screen will freeze, and I have to go completely out of everything, even shut down the OBS to get everything to work again. OBS. 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 OB Trice. Whoa. Ah. My room is getting full of squishmallows. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. It reminds me of a bad uh, Star Trek episode. Dude, it looks so cool and inside. Like, it looks so different, like, inside the room than outside, or from a camera. Yeah. It's crazy. You know, it's like a little... You know which episode I'm about. talking about. Yep. Trouble with triples. Yep. <laughs> That's the one. Yeah, whenever you walk past my, my window on the street and look into my room, it looks like a toy store. It's crazy. I'm trying to get my camera to work on this one, but the cursor keeps clicking on things and it's really messing things up on my computer now. Uh oh. Be with you in just a moment, guys. Oh. Come on, stop clicking. Where did I go? Where did everything go? Okay, I'm going to turn on some other lights just in case I can't get my computer to work for me. <laughs> yeah, you're in the dark. Yeah, this is not good. All you need now is the, the pterodactyls to start attacking. Oh, they are attacking when I stop talking. It's like they were trying to find me a, a find a gap in my sentences so they could go squawk. Hey, I was just looking at your uh, little list there. I didn't see um, what came first on there. Yeah, it should be with Mad Gap on the bottom of the pole. Why won't this go away? <laughs> wow, I haven't lots of technical difficulties and we didn't even start yet. Your cam looks like the starting screen of a Texas Chainsaw Massacre video game. <laughs> yeah, let me turn around on me while we're not looking at the floor. <laughs> oh, this is the start place. Uh oh. I mean, I don't think that's any better because uh, let's see here. Last night he was trying to play. Uh, what were you trying to play? John Wick, I think, right? John Wick? Yeah. yeah. That was terrible. John Wick. I'll be here, but I'm going to be crunching on some chips for a couple of minutes. So I'm not mute. Sounds and... good. Give me all the questions. All the questions. I think I almost got a knock on wood. Do you really want to? Hurt what did I just do now? Do you really 
want to make me cry. Yeah, I don't want my snap camera on. I want my regular camera on. Come on. The snap camera slows down my computer really bad. Yep, it does that. That's why it's. I, I set mine up so it doesn't take internet power anymore. So it, like so much less memory and computer CP usage. Oh. Oh my God. I got it. Whoa. Huh? I think I got it now. Just to avoid the echo, I'm going to go on mute. Okay, I'm going to move my microphone back. There we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's two of you. Whoa, armpit cam. Oh. Were you a witch? I am Hunter. I am a witch. And, and I got my new witch right here. Money squish follow my other new one right here. Woo. So we're witching it up, and now we're getting into spooky season. So it's time. It is time. No more you breaks. Got, you got brouhaha right above you. Yep. That's right. Cooking up some Halloween stuff. Finally, I was able to click on some stuff. Whoa! Right. Loud. Woo. Sorry about that, everyone. Whoa! You're a little loud. A little loud. Oh. Tiny bit. I'm afraid to touch anything now. Um, I, you should be good. Just uh, lean back a little bit when you do talk. I think you're just talking closer to the... There you go. Better? Yeah, much better. Much better. Okay. Yeah, I was right over it. Okay. Now, the real test is, can we see questions? Well, oh, it's upside down. Well, I <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. It's a little blurry. All right, so I'll just read the questions and look up from there then. Hunter Buescher, my favorite Halloween movie of all time is Halloween. Halloween! I like Halloween and Halloween too. Both of them back to back. It's like one giant movie. Hi, Poppy. <laughs> okay, so we'll just go to Old Fashion, right? I'll just read questions and we'll just go from there then since apparently no matter what I do, I always have some kind of blur. Alrighty. So well, we can do whatever see, whatever's yeah. easy for you. Hmm. Guess we could do like last night. Ooh. Charlie Brown's great. I'm going to try and find something to put behind the card so I don't see the answers either. And let's see here. Since Robert was doing so well last night, and I don't see Dan Bag winning the point, we'll have um, Joey Brown. We're about to do questions right now. Uh, categories we have are movies, TV, music, sports and games. Horses and games? Sports and games. Buzz <laughs> and fads. I'm gonna copy and paste categories into the chat. Fads. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Family friendly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not right. gonna do well in the horses or dads category. I'm not either. <laughs> no. Uh, I like cats. Okay. So, too. Robert, which category should we start off with? And then I have a whole box full of more of them. We'll just randomly pull one out. Sweet. Fads. All right. So the fad question. What can horses meet now used as a word to describe junk emails? Did, did, I, did I hear horses? Person. In Person. Uh, I know. I know the answer. Spam. Uh, you know what I am? Wait, how do we how do we okay. answer? I, I I'm guessing do I put it in the chat or you can just answer, we'll just do it that one. Okay. You should just you be in the it? chat, but 
Well, panel versus chat. There we go. Panel versus chat. So you three could be all on a team, all four teams rather, and the pack, the so, chat could be all first answer. Then if we do panel versus chat, we yeah, should do one at a time then it. in order. We should do it in order then, one at a time. So you ask him, then you ask me, then ask Chantel. We'll have and a, then if we answer right, yeah. then we get a point. It's spam though. The answer is totally spam. Spam? I'll take it from here. And the chat also says spam. The I answer like to Fad's it. question was indeed spam. I love it. Spam tastes good. Can you guys all control the banner too or no? I cannot. Okay. Um, hey, I'm here to I'm party. Just mark- <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I gotta work tomorrow. I'm just gonna mark it as since we're not losing points, we're just gonna just delete that since we both got the bad question. Yes. Spam. Alrighty. And since we're on a panel with the delay and everything and chat got it, we'll have Robert pick the next category. What? Let me just erase bads. I ring in. Yeah. All right, I'll get my buzzer. With us having a, a five second advantage, I usually let the chat do it if they have the first answer in the chat right and everything. Just to try to keep it fair, since we're on the panel, we have a five second advantage. Robert? Okay, buzz. The buzz question, and then we'll decide who answers the buzz question. You know what? Just in I case, need... I'm just going to toss the card out so. I don't get so I looked at the answer ahead of time. Like, All right. Buzz question. What did in. Michael Jackson dangle from his Berlin hotel balcony, shocking the crowd below? Sorry. I know, I know that is. I know that it is too. Okay. So um what are we gonna go with for this one, um, guys on the panel? Oh, it's a baby. It's, it's yeah. by far a baby. Oh, she's got a board. Okay, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a board. His baby. But we're all say uh, baby. It was Paris, uh, I think. But no, no, no. It was a blanket. Blanket. He yep. he dangled a blanket. Blanket. Baby. blanket. Yep, it was a blanket. Um. We all seen it was a baby. The answer on here says his son. Yeah, his son was a baby. Yeah. His, his oh, wait a second. Baby. And and his name was Blanket. 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 I'm just gonna write Blanket. it down, lock Blanket. it in, and whenever you reveal the answers. Oh, let's go San Diego. Hey. Well, that works. Then uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, on the same note, if we have three different answers and what's correct, that wouldn't. Really be a hundred percent fair. I'm gonna answer in two seconds, five seconds. Gut gut answers. Gut answers. Some might be wrong, some might be bad. Ooh, purple. Yeah, we'll take like we'll take a sun or baby. We all see baby and we always have sun, so buzz is now off the category. Woo, I got purple. And it's still a tight game. I think Chantel's going to be writing down, too. Tally. <laughs> that was, let's say here and yet. Man on first and third. Let's yeah. go. Come on, Soto. All right. We're TV. Out. All right. Which co-host was booted off of The View in 1999? Which co-host was booted off of The View in 1999? Let's see. Elizabeth Hasselbeck didn't join until 2001. Remember, chat. First answer in the chat is the answer for the chat. The View was in 1999? Oh, my gosh. Okay, let's just go with that. Yeah. Which co-host was booted off of The View in 1999? Oh, what's her name? And you guys oh, can um, just 
You guys can probably chat this and agree on an answer and then say it out loud together. I have no idea, I'm guessing. All right, you guys can talk in the private chat and confirm your answers. I guessed. I think I got it wrong. Well, like I said, you guys are our team. You three are going to be versus the chat. So confirm your answer for one answer so we don't have three different answers and one... Well, will they hear us there. confirming our answer out loud and what oh, we confirmed oh, in the chat? Oh, no, it's private chat, private chat. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, you guys are our team. Uh, this is what I guessed. I have no idea, literally. Once again, for the chat, we're still waiting for an answer. This host was booted off of The View in 1999. No, neither one of them. Well, then you put an answer in there. <laughs> uh, what's the um, um, yeah. um. Okay, you know what? Yeah, um, we need someone to be the one answer chat, so... We'll have, I guess, Robert, you're going to be the leader of the chat. I'll put 30 seconds on a timer. It's not much time. I'll do it twice for a minute. Chat can confirm. And then, Robert, you'll say final answer. This way you have kind of somewhat of a fair balance. So I'm going to put a banner on chat and panel. You guys have one to decide. And we'll start the first timer right now. No Googling. more seconds as it lets me do it 30 more seconds eight final answers confirmed what another 30 seconds too long that has to type on your and like challenge itself what I, mean, I have no idea what you're saying <laughs> no idea what you're saying <laughs> On the who's gonna be our team captain? What? I can't hear you just fine. But you're going. Can't. Okay. I can't understand so, what you're saying. So on the panel, who's gonna be team captain? I was saying the chat has to type their answers. Okay, so well, have yep. them confirm their answer without cheating. We we don't trust you guys without cheating. In the private chat. We just have a bunch of questions and stuff. Oh. We it's really oh, hard okay. to. Okay. Confirm. Big, but I don't know. Yep, that's who I think. Oh, we're all over the place. I, I put in what I think it is for for my team. I have no idea. It, there's two two answers in there, so I have no idea what we're going with. I think it's the very bottom one. And Chad doesn't think it's the very bottom one. All right, point? so um, the chat is going to go with Debbie. And oh, you're writing your answer. And the panel is gonna go with Rosie O'Donnell and Debbie M. Rosie O'Donnell? I don't know. Debbie M. That's what we had. We we uh we. <laughs> I'm not sure what's that's happening. What's but... I need mean, one of you guys to like. I need a team to decide what is your answer to be: Rosie O'Donnell or Debbie M. Oh no! <laughs> okay, I cheated. Um, we'll go with Debbie M. We're gonna go with okay. Debbie also. All right, Debbie. so Debbie M. And the answer was Debbie Metanopolis. So everyone gets a point. Sharks. I had no idea. Well, wow, this is really a, a tied game. Let me remove okay, TV from the thing. Or... Yeah, I, I originally thought it was Rosie O'Donnell. I thought it was Joan Rivers at first. I, first I thought it was Whoopi first, but then I sat here and remembered she went in there at the beginning. Yeah, she's still making Whoopi on there. That's yeah. like the only time I've ever watched the view is when she farts. And oh. it's like a, like a, I put the wrong fire. thing. Whoops. So, uh, I'm about to put it here. 
Okay, Robert. Since you guys got it, and we have a five second delay and all not, what next category should we do? Uh, Movies, music, and sports. Music, sports, and games. There, there are three categories left. Movies, Movies? music, sports, and games. Post a minute. Hello, Mr. Minix. Okay. Mr. Minix, welcome. If you guys don't want to pick, I'll have William pick then. Or sometimes you got the answer for the team. Oh, music? music. All right. The music question is Who are the high school sweethearts Billy Joe reminisces about in scenes from an Italian restaurant? Who are the high school sweethearts Billy Joe reminisces? about in scenes from an Italian restaurant. Give you, you all to do this and go to my timer. I'm not sure. And good luck. more seconds continue finalizing your answers guys I have no clue. <laughs> what does the chat believe it is? Do we come with a final answer, guys? Brenda and Eddie. And the first answer in the chat I see is Brenda and Eddie. And Robert finalizes it. Oh, yeah, if you're just joining for the chat, Robert is going to be the one who has the final answer in the chat. You guys will have one minute to discuss it, though, as will the panel. I don't count for anyone. And the answer to the music question is Brenda and Eddie. That's the first one that answered to the back of the car. Who? All answers. Brenda and Who the heck is Bren Brenda and Eddie? I thought it was Jack and Diane. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. What you're That's all I, thought. I don't even know where to start with that question. <clears throat> right? I heard high school sweethearts in the Italian job. <laughs> That's what I heard. I heard a little di ditty. And all we have. Let me get my comments without losing my camera. Right, yeah. Camera. If you can, can you say the next question slowly? Slow. It's a little slow. A little slow. I thought slower. I was going slow. Sorry, I'll read it slower. No, it's slower. just it's just slower. when you start when when you start talking, sometimes you cut out. So half the question was just everything just went haywire. Got Is that you. me? Okay, so by the looks of uh, it, Chantel, do you want to do uh, movies or working. sports and games? Is this You're my connection you. or is this your guys' connection? I'm so confused. Is my connection really bad? Uh, no. Your connection is good. It's, it's just silver, silver Keepers uh, breaking in and out. So I might have to refresh a bunch of times tonight then. Lovely. Whoa. Okay. I'm coming over here. All right. I'm going over here. I'm going into the corner. I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> 
I know what's happening. Next time, I'm going to, well, tonight, I'm sitting down. I'm typing a bunch of these out since everybody loves this game. I'm just going to type out all the questions that I have in the box anyway. All right. How do I sound? Do I need to refresh? Sound all right right now. Okay. So we're going to do a sports question. Sports? We're using the the sports? Question. Yeah, a horse question. Why not? Oh, a horse question? Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, no. I can't do a horse question. What name was given to the U.S. men's basketball team? Secretariat. That's home gold in the 92 Olympics. Oh. Wait, one more time. Okay. What, what name was given to the U.S. men's basketball team that Chum gold oh, in the 92 I Olympics. I got it. I got it too. I know it. I know it. I know it. We're gonna have a timer and good luck. Cindy. Everybody already has their mind. You confirm your answer You are freezing up. And uh, Robert, is that the final answer for you guys? Whoa. Does the chat do it, Robert, or do you guys want the extra 30 seconds? Oh, wait. Oh, whoops. My bad. Okay. Oh, I'm Everyone bad. said dream team. Oops. And the sports answer we are looking for is, in fact, the dream team. Dream team. Nice. Wow. At this rate, we might just have to just keep asking random questions because everyone's getting it right. These are, a lot easier. By, by default. These are a lot easier than last night's. Yeah. Right? No video to watch. And by default, only thing left, that's the movie question. A, a what? So this should question? be a, thing. a movie question. Movie. Oh, all right. Uh, all right. The movie question is... Who played Romeo and Juliet in Baz Luhrmann's 1996 MTV-styled Romeo and Juliet? Who played Romeo and Juliet in Baz Luhrmann's 1996 MTV-styled Romeo and Juliet? I'll give you guys one minute because that one sounds like a hard one. Good luck. Oh my gosh, and I can't pull the female. And just to clarify, we do need two names. 30 more seconds. Good luck. We pulled well, in, Robert. Got it. No one knows it, and no one guesses. Woo. Oh, wow! Finally. All right. So, uh, what does the um, panel believe it is for the actors? 
Leonardo DiCaprio and yeah. Claire Danes. And chat. Leo. Oh, wow. The girl, the girl from Teen Terminator Everyone 30. got that one right. Yep. Terminator <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio and wow. They put her in a dog cage. Everybody is six for six. <laughs> oh no, I missed the Ed question, whatever. I added Ed Gein and Jane. Oh no, because she was your captain and she answered with you guys. So you oh, yeah, yeah, you guys. Right. Yeah. Okay, yep, you're right. Ed wow. Danes and so at this point share <laughs> it's just some rapid fire questions now at this point. Rapid fire. Let's yeah, just I'll it. just randomly pick what were you gonna suggest? No, you're fine. Just go. I was going to say just click got it in the chat or whenever it's read, but I forgot there's a five second lag. I forgot. Yeah. Oh, but I wait five trying seconds. To be to okay. <laughs> I'll right. get my finger up. I'm buzzing in. I'll just do, do the whole card and see how we Hi, do Cindy. on a whole card now. Hello, Cindy. Hello. Science. I wish we had science questions. Cindy, yeah, that's all the fun because I didn't know some of these answers either. I don't think I knew any of them actually. Science. What did she? All what right. was she blinded with? What did she blind with? Science. Science. Yes. Science. Science. Uh, after trivia pursuit, we might do what came first. But but we're gonna do um. I guess Claire, Captain versus Captain. I guess. The, gr the girl Claire yeah, was in uh, Resident Evil. Claire. Claire Redfield, Chris Redfield's yeah. sister. Yeah. <laughs> That's something we could do. Well, both captains decide what category we do, and we'll still allow the one minute to decide, and then whoever gets it right, that side wins, and then otherwise, we'll go on to what came first. After we see who wins. Hey, Great Scott. Hello, Great Scott. Welcome. So, Can Robert and Chantel, what category should we do for the win? Wait, are we? We're still playing trivia, right? Yeah, we're still gonna finish this oh, off, okay. and we're gonna do for the win. What? Okay. I mean, we already got one of each category. Now it's just pretty much we gotta find a winner. Fads, you wanna do Fads again, Chantel? Sure. All right. So that's for the win. You're going to stop calling me that. <laughs> but you're fabulous. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Right. <laughs> what cereal features the flavors raspberry red, lemon yellow, orange orange? What cereal features the flavors raspberry red, lemon yellow, orange orange? And we'll give you guys a minute to discuss for the win. Okay, the guy has locked the fruit loops. And Chantel, what did you guys agree with? Or who has written tricks? Not my first answer, but so, we're gonna go with tricks. 
the question again was, what cereal features the flavors raspberry red, lemon yellow, orange, orange? The answer. And the winning team is the panel because it is tricks. Tricks are yeah. for kids. Tricks are for kids. Woo. Hi, Terma Treasure. Hello, Terma. Welcome. Good to see you, Terma Treasure. Let's I'm go. I'm pretty sure Fruit Loops had a green flavor as well. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. At one point. And purple. Yeah. So does Trix. Oh, yeah. Those are just three of the flavors. Trix has blue also. Uh, I think. I don't think they have blue, but yeah. the green really it's it's a bit of a mix of the chat like that. It started out with those three colors. Yes. Yeah, Trix has purple. They have gray. They added purple and green. Yeah. Dinosaur colors. Hi, Tyler Evans. I'm gonna pull it Hi, out. Tyler. What's Thank up, you, Cindy. Tyler? I'm gonna take the dog out. Chantel is the quick. MVP. That was very uh, good. MVP. That was almost a whole outside. hour. Who's outside? Hello, hardcore. Welcome. Hi, hardcore. Hello. 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 The clown face cereal kaboom. I have not. You ever count Chocula? <laughs> Oh no! Squishmallow fell. No. That was one of the questions last night. Was Count Chocolate? Okay, Robert. Who do you nominate to be your captain then? Squishmallow. You waited back to Dimebag. If you want to take it. Let me open up this game, and we'll play some. What came first? And then maybe later on tonight, also try and do some Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? I'm pretty sure I got all the questions we had before. All right, what did Robert say? Okay. But we're going to switch games to what came first. Um, did Tupac say he'll be back? Yeah, he went walk the dog. Yeah. All righty, let me try to get back down. We'll have chat versus um, panel again. Chat versus panel. The panel. Whoa. We lost All right. Him. He's gone. He's lost. I'll be right back. All right. That's what they all say. I'll be right here. <laughs> oh, hello. I have no idea what happened there. Sorry, guys. That's okay. It's okay. I should to open a banner to hit four. Let's go. We took the lead. Hey, thank right. you. All right, let me create this folder. Folder creation. Wilma, right. what the heck? That's not good. <laughs> no! Maybe. Maybe at some point I'll go and knock on the wall. I told you I was going to be back. <gasps> and are we working here? No. Whoa, what was that button? Now we're working. There we go. I haven't heard oh. that sound before. That's I don't know what good. that was. Oh. That was my ear. That was new. Oh, Whew. Okay, that was on my side. It sounded so close to my ear. I was going to say, I had some pretty weird dreams last night, so hopefully. I had nothing to do with it. I had the most vivid UFO dream ever last night. It was creepy. I think we're going to get invaded. Uh, I think Hunter has to go where he wants to go to sleep. Thank you for joining me, Hunter. I appreciate it. Hunter. Have a good night, man. Have a good night, Hunter. Good night, Hunter. Take care, buddy. 
candy corn for the road. Mm, chocolate. Oh, I got some too. Uh, we have the autumn mix. Oh yeah. No, I got the regular corn. Oh. Okay, and the oddball here. Mine's made with real honey. Corn, I don't. Huh? Maybe I like corn. Oh, like I all three of you corn. like candy corn. I don't. <laughs> candy corn's so good. Even better when it gets stuck in your teeth. Candy corn's huh? good. All right. Let's, Let's, do do another, mm -hmm. Yummy. Let's, do Let's do another survey of uh, panel people. Anybody else here on the panel like ketchup? Uh, this, this, game? this guy don't. Like Tetris? Ketchup. ketchup. Oh. I'll eat ketchup with my fries, but that's about it. I'll eat ketchup while playing Tetris. <laughs> Not this ketchup, guy. ketchup is so good. Ooh. Okay. Mm. So we got our captain in the oh. chat is dying back. On the panel, are we yeah. keeping a chantage captain for final sec? You're gonna give us a massage? <laughs> oh, I mean yeah. uh, Whoa. Find me up to your place. <laughs> All right then. Yeah, uh for captain, are we keeping Chantel for captain, or are you switching up captain? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Who wants to be captain? Chantel, you can be the captain. You want to be captain? Sure. Ladies first, and then second. Already. Okay, we up. have Captain Chantel for the panel, and we have Captain Dimebag Coins for the chat. Captain and this time you get 30 on, seconds for the answer to my two choices. That was on the episode of The Simpsons when uh, Mr. Burns had to go shopping for himself and he's looking, ketchup? Ketchup. Ketchup? Ketchup. And they're like, he's talking to himself. And they ended up committing him to an insane asylum. A ketchup asylum. And they're like, oh yeah, people at a grocery store, workers at a grocery store could have you committed now. <laughs> Nice dime bag. All right. Cat soup. Let me get back my other banner or brand wrap. Oh, nice dime bag. And my, oh, that's awesome. Cool. That okay. is super awesome. I'm going to go check that out if it's up. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Candy corn hiccup. That is very cool. Oh, I have a dog. There you go. Okay. Came <laughs> first. I almost came home with the dog yesterday. I was thinking about it. Was it the Statue of Liberty or the Eiffel Tower? What came first, Statue of Liberty or Eiffel Tower? 30 seconds. I'm stupid. There we go. And begin. So the chat thinks tower, but they're still guessing it. Like, oh, oh, wait for the chat to put in there. Final thing. Answer. They picked the tower. All right. And then, panel, what do you come up with? We didn't really agree. <laughs> <laughs> That's a liberty. The answer. <laughs> Dang it. There. What is that? Liberty. Oh, dang it. And the Chantel. Let's That's go. Oh, wording. Yeah, Chantel's our captain, so whatever she guesses is our answer. I, I, had, that in, I had that in private. Yeah. Time. I was uh, nice. I had I had, I had to respectfully disagree, but I got it wrong. They, they were both from France. Yeah, the statue in France. Once what a gift from the people of by the people That's of the United States. It was donated in 1886. The Eiffel Tower was completed in 18. 
1889. It is the most visited paid monument in the world. I guess. That makes nice. Sense. Makes a lot of sense. Let me update the banner. Furman and Jose Furman. Here comes the next one. Uh -oh. Big burning tower. <laughs> yeah, good thing they didn't make it out of copper. Yeah, we'll do about an hour of this and then we'll, we'll see if you guys want to test who wants to be a millionaire. And how we're going to do that one is the audience is literally in the chat. Uh oh. What? <laughs> yeah, break the chat you're breaking up too now. much. 50 is just. Me randomly. Time this this in sports means timeout. Keeper, you're sound automated. like you said, yeah. Sound like you said before you play Who Wants a Millionaire. The panel has to fight off a bunch of bees first. <laughs> That's what I got. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Um, I always flash. No I, bees. I thought he said we had to wee first. No, I'll be back. No, not today. <laughs> We didn't do it. Our we didn't do our afternoon curls. <laughs> yeah, I did. Oh, I can. Yeah, I do that still. Oh, that bag's going for a motorcycle ride a little bit later. 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 Night ride. Night rider. Night ride. <laughs> dun, 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 bag. Did he change his name to Michael? Michael, Michael bag. <laughs> really, a guy named okay. Herman would hit a home run. It, it looks like we're back ish. Oh, really it. laggy. I can't. I can't. I can't. Okay, we're back. I can't. You said it robotic just now. I can't fix his internet. No, Robert. The one with Hasselhoff. Yeah, Cindy, unfortunately, uh, uh, you can't help the connection. I'm like a really bad connection. But oh. I'm glad all of you are still here hanging out with me. And the panel, of course. Am I still breaking out? you are how would it sound on your phone uh let me got some help try that again with the phone yeah try it with your phone yes if it were something i could help out with cindy i would but it's a uh... It's a connection, a, an internet connection thing. Okay, Whoa, testing. Who's this guy? That sounds who are you? Oh, oh. back up again. Overkeeper again. I thought like your your uh, <laughs> your okay. evil entered the room. Hi, testing. I'm Silver keeper. That sounds perfect. Yep, it sounds good. Your evil twin has the has better audio. <laughs> Just reach over there and smack him. There, yeah. Okay, Do it. Foster. Go go he's, bye he's bye. Staring, he's staring right at you, man. This is scary. <laughs> he's staring right at you. He's looking in your ear, a socket. <laughs> it looks like we're watching a doctor visit. All oh, right, no. son. Turn your head a little bit and let me put this little thingy in your ear. I'm looking inside of it now. Oh whoa. <laughs> It's gone. He said little thingy. <laughs> little thing. Oh, toe cutters. Yikes. What was the guy's name from Mad Max? Buddha. Buddha? Something close Buddha? to that. Buddha. He's so happy. No, uh -oh, the evil twin's back. Uh oh, I'm going into mating. Oh, oh man. Uh oh. Really Okay, that's much better. Now I have the right camera on me, at least. That was confusing. Hey, we can hear you. Wow, it's amazing. All right. <laughs> um, 
So yeah, like I was saying, we'll play this for about an hour and then we'll switch to who wants to be a millionaire. We'll have the chat be the audience lifeline. Phone a friend. You could do the panel or the audience, whoever you want to pick. And 50-50, I'll just randomly remove one wrong answer and, well, two wrong answers rather, leaving one wrong answer and the correct answer. We'll do that later on too. You said you could do the panel or audience. Yeah, for the phone a friend. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, um, I got that. <laughs> That's All right. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, um. Okay, so we'll play this game to first one to reach. I guess twenty points sounds fair. Dime bag, no. <laughs> All right, so first the 20 wins, and then we'll switch to who wants to be a millionaire, and we'll test that game out as long as we still have a handful of people in the chat. <laughs> Robert. All right. Uh, can you guys see this? Okay, yes, no, kind of. All right. What came first, electric hearing aids or electric car horns? Not that focused, kind of, sort of, almost a little bit. Are we still doing teams? Yeah, you guys are still going to be a team. And then we're still going to have um, the chat until we get to Millionaire. First one to 20 points wins. And let me start the 30-second timer while you guys decide. Dimebag is the captain for the chat. And I'm pretty sure we have Chantel captain for up here. 30 seconds, and here we go. Guys, I have no idea. What came first, electric hearing aids or electric car horns? And you're very, very welcome. Oh, and here come the birds. No, <laughs> bird horns on answer. That sounds like a tiny monkey. <laughs> All right. Um, Captain Dimebag from the chat, what answer are you guys going with? Oh, car horn. Um, wait, you're saying electric. All right, just verify that for me. Are you saying electric hearing aids or the car horn? Because I'm seeing two answers in that answer. Electric hearing aid or electric car horns? They say no horn. Yeah, it was a car horn. Okay. I just got confused for a second when he put electric in parentheses. So the chat's saying car horn, and what are we saying on top here? Hearing aids. Oh. AIDS. Hearing aids. And <laughs> the answer, the chat is on fire because it is electric hearing aids. Yes. AIDS for the, the win. on fire. Panels on fire. The first one was called the Acuaphone and was invented in 1898. Apparently, it was absolutely massive. The electric car horn arrived in 1910. Nice. Wow. Yeah. They were huge. 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 That's what she said. Whoa. That's not a nice dime bag. It could be the ones that um, from. Uh, oh, we shouldn't say that guy, Jared. <laughs> Jared from Subway, South Park. I don't know that reference, but I know South Park isn't really a kid show, but it's a good show. I'd say more kids probably watch it than gold. Chat, you got some work to catch up on. Oh, uh, this next one, I guarantee someone in either in chat or on panel is going to know this one because I just seen the answer face up. Oh, it's a flashback. What came first, Notorious B.I.G. or Tupac? Tupac. 
And we're going to start 30 seconds as soon as I get back to the banner. And here we go. Good luck. Notorious Big or Tupac? Begin. Hello, Richard Metcalf. Welcome. was what came first notorious big or tupac <laughs> that was the question what came first notorious big or tupac why don't you join us on the panel yeah why don't you get on your computer and join us on the panel All right, so Dan Bank says Tupac. What does the panel say? Tupac. Wow, not only does someone on the panel know, or the chat, everyone knows. It is Tupac. Everybody gets a point. It's the be answer is... I was way older than both of those guys. <laughs> and the statement on the back says, the West Coast only just wins this one. With Tupac being born in 1971, the King of New York comes less than a year later in 1972. Wait, why is he called the King? Whoa, Jay Z's that old? That's crazy. Wait, his name is Jay Z. Then who's Notorious Big? I don't know. I don't follow rap that well, much. Well, he said the King of New York. So. Oh, yeah. oh, I got you now. Okay. Let me and update the, the banner. Yeah. Yes. Update that banner. Let's go. Thought that was yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, um, what's the other guy's name? Um, I can't remember. Dang it. Pineapple fruit roll up. Did we just get a home run? Oh my gosh. <laughs> he's gone. Oh, no, he's not gone. I was going to say, wait a second. I can't bring you back up. All righty. Let's go. Two to one. Three to one. Two to one. No, go Padres. Oh, sorry. Three to one. Oh. Panel. Go panel. <laughs> He's talking about the game. <laughs> All righty. What came first? Hair straighteners or blow dryers? Hair straighteners or blow dryers? Let me find the countdown. Here we go. Good luck. Wow, 10 amazing people still here. Thank you guys so much. Hello, Richard Metcalf. Welcome. What's up, Richard? All right. Dimebag, what is the chat's final answer going to be? Hello. Zilla, Zilla, hello. Chat is locked in with hair straighteners. Panel, what do we got? We had a different answer, but we're going to go with hair straighteners as well. Actually, we no, don't we have, have a different answer. answer. We did have the same answer. Oh, you had a different yeah. answer. Oh, I got it. No, we all have hair straighteners. And the answer, believe it or not, is hair straighteners. Yes, sir. I, I took electricity into effect. Um, Erica Fellman had the idea in 1872 using heated metal rods to iron yep. her hair. Blow dryers weren't far behind. First being used in a French salon in 1890. Yep. It's only 18 years. It's a lot easier to straighten your hair than blow dry your hair. That's for sure. In a conventional way. 
And Let's we're go still to having eat. a nice two point gap. Woo woo! Gaps of two. Wow, I don't think Chantal missed a single question tonight. Holy cow. Yeah, All right. I missed that one. I went with what my team said. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> hey, that works. What came first, Stephen Hawking or Stephen King? Oh, boy. They're both up there. But somebody was here first. Who was it? And you have 30 seconds when I get the banner. Here we go. Good luck. Uh, good night, Robert Worley. Thanks for coming by, man. Robert Treasure is when they were born. Yeah, most of these are pretty much age-wise, so pretty much it's like who was born first, not discovered, or however you want to word that. But good night, Robert. Thanks for coming by. Good night, Robert. Good night, Robert. Good night. Okay, the chat has locked in with Stephen Hawking. Ooh. What What has the panel decided? Stephen King. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, someone's going to get it. Where does the point go? Point goes Stephen to... King. Stephen King, Stephen King, Stephen King. The person that said Stephen Hawking. Uh, the, oh. oh! See, I went with y'all and I knew it was the other one. Oh. Ouch and burn. <laughs> All right. right. So. Stephen King is the horror writer. Yep. And star and director and all that good stuff. Let me give the panel their point, and then I'll give you the explanation on the back of the card. Boo! Not refundable. How far apart were they in age? Um, a brief history of time author Stephen Hawking was born in 1942. Stephen King was born in 1947 and started oh. scaring the blank out of people years later. It actually says blank? I'm putting blank. Okay. I'm trying to get somewhat friendly. Yeah. <laughs> that game actually has that written on the card. That's awesome. Right? I yeah, I blanked it. I don't have a buzzer to go bleep. No, chat gets the point that time, not panel. Right. Oh, yeah. That's why I changed the name of the other game to Fact or Fiction because it's something I just don't want to get into a debate about using that word. Friction? Fact or fiction, yes. Because fiction is not real, right? No. But false. Yeah. Fact or false, let's just call it. Non-fiction is fiction. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is wrong. Yeah, English and grammar is not my thing. Yeah, pretty much, Dan. Like, true or false? which will be another game we'll probably play later tonight if we have time and a lot of you still like hanging out with me. You're playing like eight games. Whoa. Like a hey, game night for a reason. I have nowhere to be. I got hot dogs. What came first? ABBA or the karaoke machine? Oof. Oof. Yep. What came first? ABBA or the karaoke machine? Ouch. Hmm. Hmm. Let me get my banner going. <laughs> <laughs> and 30 seconds. Pumpkins. Hmm. is a music group. Uh, Zilla, Zilla.
All righty. Dimebag, what is the final answer for the chat? They're saying ABBA and panel. Karaoke yeah. machine. And the answer may surprise you. Because believe it or not, the answer is karaoke machine. Oh my God. I think it was way before ABBA. <laughs> I'll say like three years, maybe one. Well, like let's find out, shall 20. we? Japanese musician Yusaki Inu invented the first one in 1971. ABBA provided the ammunition to murder many of the by forming in 1972. 1970. Oh my God. One year. Let's go. Oh One year it. difference. Oh my God. Dang. How did I know that? That's weird. How close can you <laughs> That's get? That's weird. <laughs> oh, I got to edit that. That's crazy. Dancing Queen. Did I not give Chad a point yet or? Yeah, one, you two. Okay. I'm going to double sure because I was like, oh, what's going on here? We were one. We were two points ahead. Then we went to one point. Now we're back to two points. All right. Thank Fernando. you. Ricardo. Fernando. Alejandro. Ali Alejandro. Yo, a very close game. Sing along tape. What? Eh? Maybe. A year later. Okay, this one's kind of confusing. Well, not really, but you'll see what I mean. Because what came first? Mary-Kate Olsen or Ashley Olsen? Which one's older? Mm. I mean, they're twins. So, if that helps you any. I'm... I'm uh, uh, How did they ask the other one? <laughs> in 30 seconds, good luck. Sorry, my treasures. Yeah, it's like eh, it's a funny one. Okay, so um, Dime bag, where are we going? Mary Kate and panel. Ashley, oh boy, I like different answers. This is getting fun. The answer. The. Panel exactly. stays on fire because it's Ashley Olsen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> By how many That's seconds, right. I wonder. Let's find out. Probably three, maybe seven. That's crazy because usually they put names three minutes. in order and it's Mary Kay and Ashley, so I thought maybe it was in the order they were born. I was wrong on that one. Fair. I'll say Ashley, three minutes. <laughs> uh, well, I was going to say about two minutes. I was thinking seconds, but let's find out, shall we? That, that would be crazy. It'd be like an assembly line. <laughs> Like a machine gun of kids. <laughs> it was a pretty close call in 1986, but Ashley won the race. Mary Kate was born a few minutes later. Oh, so about three. <laughs> yeah. <They're> about three. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. I'll give it to you. Woo. Let me change this again. Wow. No, oh my God. I like Elizabeth the best. She's hot. 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 Elizabeth. Yep. Elizabeth Olsen, yeah. Scarlet, Scarlet Witch. Witch. Oh, I was like, wait, they're not triplets. She's uh, not twin, the younger sister. I think I think she's young. Is she older or younger? I don't know. She looks older than them. I think she's the youngest. I think she's Zilla, the Zilla, Wowza. She looks older than them. They're like Cabbage Patch dolls. They're weird looking. Oh, I don't mean that in a weird way. Uh, they are weird looking, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm not sure if they mean like the song or the movie or the series or whatnot, but um, what came first, Grease or Happy Days? I'm assuming it's probably movies, but pretty I'm, sure. 
Oh, I put the, the thing back on. I put that back up there, and then I'll put the 30 seconds on. Good luck. Um... Okay. Uh, chat, what did we come up with for your final answer? Oh, man, they scored. Rolling with Dimebag, hello. Whoa. So, like, Dimebag might got another channel going on. Rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. No, like, rolling, 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 rolling. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. All right. Chat says happy days. We're going with happy days, and so is the panel. Tell me less. Tell me less. Let's find out. What's the answer? Okay, that's not fun because you're both right. Happy days. John Travolta. I'm like, watch it be Greece. Can't be. Can't be. Richard, in 30 seconds, and get it back into the chat in time and persuade them. That would be well done. <laughs> Richard, yeah. There you go. You'll That's get every second right. timer. You'll win the game, bro. Hey, are you cheating? No, I'm just that smart. All right. The oh, bomb strutted onto our TV screens in 1974. Greece became the ward in 1978. Greece is in 1978? Yeah. No oh, way. Yeah. Oh my gosh. When was Carrie? 19. 19- uh, I can't remember that as the year 75, I, was born. I think. Oh my gosh. I think you're right. Carrie, yeah. Wow. I guess that makes sense, yeah. I would have thought like 76 or 75. Greece. Uh, we'll have to Google that one later. I would try, but I don't want to chance I, my... Carrie, Carrie's, Carrie's before Jaws, I'm pretty sure. And you know what's crazy is Henry Winkler, I think, I don't know if he played the Fonz, but it looks like the Fonz is in a movie with um, Sylvester Stallone where they're like biker type like the ponds mm, 76 wow weird oh. ready oh. i guess jaws came hey, out before Bobby. yep we're now chat four panel seven anything could change though because what came first chat roulette or gopro Thirty seconds. <laughs> oh my what? god, that's weird. Um, begin. Thanks for sharing, David. Whoa. <laughs> nice. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Yikes. This is That's why Game are hit Mr. Family Friendly because it's like, yeah, <laughs> a little informational. But not that informational. All right. Dimebag, what are we going with? Chat roulette or GoPro? They're filling the GoPro. Okay. And so is the panel. GoPro. Didn't they read any? That's an impossible question. Science came first. No. I didn't. I don't know. The answer is GoPro. <laughs> Let's go. I was right. Woohoo. 
And so was the chat. Cats trying to get their ground back up, but Pendle's like, no, down. The chicken came first. That's right, David. But you need the egg for the chicken. No, you we also need creation. Like you need story. creation before, before science. Right? It was some kind you of science need... experiment. They just got an egg, and that's how the chicken came to play. It was the egg. You need a design before you get the science. Okay, the so chicken the chicken came before the egg because the chicken had to lay the egg. But you also need the egg to get, like, I guess, fertilized to have the chicken. No, you need a rooster to fertilize the egg. Yeah, you need something for something. <laughs> All right, so the answer for this was uh, Nick Woodman founded the company in 2002 in an attempt to take better photos while surfing. For better or worse, chat <laughs> roulette arrived seven years later. That's awesome. They could while take surfing. nine. Surfing. Go home, ho pro. Let me update the score again. Dinosaurs lay eggs? Yes, it's true. Yes. Of course. Furry eggs, feathery eggs. Platypuses lay eggs. Platypi. Platypi, the most poisonous mammal on the planet. What? The Only, the males. Only the males <laughs> don't have poison. It's That's one pretty... of those debates where they keep going back and forth for hours Poison. and no one knows. No one knows what? What came first? The chicken or the egg? It's still going in the chat. <laughs> it was the egg, man. It's the egg. I can tell Gotta you where the most venomous there is. Mammal? mammal? Snake. Yeah, we're, we're, we're talking about mammals. Okay. Yeah, mammal-wise. I know the snake was. Oh, yeah. Yeah, snakes are, yeah, super venomous. Yeah, but, uh, but there's there's only like two or three mammals on the planet that mm -hmm. have yeah. venom, and one of them's the platypus. Yes. And the other one is the North American shrew that yes. eats snakes. But there's one. Why did the alien bring William to Earth? Whoa, whoa, that's a there's great question. I'm not sure. That they don't have anti-venom for. I'm supposed to be on uh, Mars or Venus. I'm going to be on another UFO then. Is it a water snake? Mm-hmm. Ocean one? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like, uh, orange and, it's like orange and red. It's a sea snake. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you for coming by. Creepy. Good, so night, that's, that's, Good night, Poppy. That's the Poppy. most venomous Good one night. they have. I still always remember that part in Jurassic Park, The Lost World, when the guy, there's like a Tyrannosaurus Rex right outside eating people, and then the snake falls in it on his shoulder, and he didn't want to get bit by the snake so bad that he ran out into the Tyrannosaurus Rex, and he ate him. I will always remember that part. He's like, oh, oh, and then the dinosaur eats him. What came first, lawnmowers or vacuum cleaners? Oof. Oh, boy. Lawnmowers or vacuum cleaners? Ready, set, discuss. Crazy. Sorry about that. What's that, Tupac? What were you saying? Platypus's egg only takes 10 days for it to hatch. Yeah. I was watching something on platypuses earlier today. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Dianbeck. It just says lawn mowers or vacuum cleaners. It doesn't say that a push mower. So... Um, okay, then I just to verify, are you going with lawnmower or vacuum cleaners? What? 
I'm just verifying Dimebag's answer to make sure we're on the right page. Was it lawnmowers or vacuum cleaners, Dimebag? Oh my god. Lamor, final answer. Alrighty. And the chat says Lamor's as well. And the panel's been on a pretty good streak. Does it continue? Lamor's, Lamor's, Lamor's. Lamor's. Frick yeah. They push, push around the little manual ones that, that chop. My mom had one of those when she first moved into this place. Crazy. Crazy. Edwin Budding got tired of cutting grass with a scythe and invented the lawnmower in 1830. The vacuum cleaner cleaned up in 1901. Yeah, it did. Way to go, guys. Everyone gets a point. Sheep on a stick. <laughs> and you know what their, their sales gimmick was? Hey, this thing really sucks. <laughs> Right? <laughs> I think William had a mouthful. Mm hmm. That's not good. Uh, I can't comment anymore on that one. And then look better, at the score we have. Better than a vacuum cleaner. Wow. What great timing for a question like this and a score like this. Wow. Come on. Save it. Load, load. There we go. Perfect order, too. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Finally, a woman can mow the lawn, mow the house. A lawn, mow the house. Oh, my God. Terrible. Right, Dime Bag Goats? Dude, everything. Apple cinnamon? Oh, my God. I mean, oh, my Garth Brooks. Oh, my Garth. Oh, wow. This question makes... What? What came first? Siri or Wally? Siri or Wally? -E. Wall -E. The cartoon from um, Disney or Pixar or DreamWorks or one of the three? Nope. Wally -E and Ava. Well, while you guys decide, 30 seconds. Good luck. Nicholas Stacking, when'd you get here? Ahoy. Ahoy, Nicholas Stacking. If I didn't say hi yet, hello. Okay, Dan Bag. Wally, final answer. Okay, and the panel? Wally -E as well. <laughs> if you go back and see my private chat, I just put a question mark. I ain't got no idea, Wally. <laughs> It's Wally. It's got to be Wally. I saw that in the movie theater, and I'm pretty sure Siri was not invented yet. I don't even think we're asking Alexa questions yet. I don't know if this came out before Alexa or after Alexa. That's a good question. What came first? What came first or Alexa? Anyway, the answer is Wally. Let's go. Uh, I see David. I should have said it was Wally Gator. Oh, that's a good cartoon. Wally. David, the question was what came first, Siri or Wally? And the answer was Wally. The explanation Wally. is Lace Alicotion Load Lifter Earth Class or Wally for short had a big screen in 2008. Our iPhone started talking back in 2011 once Siri was introduced. So basically, his name is Wallach. Pretty much. Yeah. Hey, where's the C at? Yeah, Earth class. Wallach. Yeah, Wall of that PC. Wallach. I'm Wallach. Everyone says Wally, and we're back to chicken or egg conversation. Oh, boy. 
We should have a stream. What came first, the egg or the chicken, and go back and forth? I guarantee you, we'll run out of watch time in no time. 20 hours. What came first, chicken, egg, chicken, egg? Waldo. And, and Cindy, you're definitely right. Waldo definitely came first. Oh, big time. By a long shot. <laughs> You've been looking for him for a while. No yeah. one knows where he is. Carmen San Diego found him. But is it the real Waldo? She got lost with him. Somewhere in San Diego. <laughs> At Carmen's house. The panel is halfway there. Bon Jovi? But living on a prayer? Pretty much. I mean, the check is still catch up, but you guys are on a streak big time. There's no hey, tricking streaking? any of you guys. Are streaking? No. Uh, I'm keeping my clothes on. I don't want to get banned from YouTube. All right, Matthew Libator, you're going down. Who? <laughs> oh, sorry. Some say he's a Libertorian. Oh, here's a fun one. I think I know the answer. Am I right? I'm wrong. Okay. <laughs> I don't wrong. care. Yeah. What came first, the dating game or the newlywed game? The dating game or the newlywed game? Shocking. I didn't read the answer for it fully, but we'll see in 30 seconds, starting now. Chat looks like it's getting divided, but we'll see where it goes. Oh, the chat really is getting divided. Oh boy, this is interesting. <coughs> okay, Danbag, what is the final answer for you guys in the chat? You guys look pretty divided. So as the captain, you get the final choice, Danbag. Risque is right. Because <laughs> it literally looks like half of you said um, it is tied. So it's all eyes on you, Dimebag. Hit the ball. Hit the ball. Sorry. That's interesting, Cindy. <laughs> Richard Metcalf, choose wisely. So is Kato Kalen. Who? Kato Kalen. I don't know that one. OJ's roommate. Oh, okay. He's also on Big Brother. Yeah. All right. The chat has locked in with newlywed. Panel? Also newlywed. Nobody gets a point. What? Don't. The dating oh, game. Oh, man. We all thought the same thing. Yep. How great is that? Crazy. I guess you got to go on a date before you can get married. I mean... OJ in the outfield? Oh, wait. Wrong movie. Sorry. <laughs> all right. Contestants picked between three suitors starting oh, in 1965. Oh. Who? Let's go! Okay, he's going to have fun over there. Um, <laughs> Let's go. Home run, two run. Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay, now he's on mute. Now I can read. Okay. Contestants picked between three suitors starting in 1965. Spouses didn't publicly realize how little they knew each other until 1966 on the newlywed game. A one-year difference. Very close. <laughs> that was <laughs> nice. That was close. Sally, no one gets a point. 
What came first? Safety razor or rubber band? Safety razor or rubber band? Before the timer, if you just got here, be sure to get that thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. 30 seconds starting now. Alrighty. I'm seeing a lot of rubber bands in chat, but then again, I have to try to get a drink. So, bang bag, lock in the final answer. That was exciting. Safety razor or rubber band? Rubber band, man. Okay, you got it. And panel decided on safety razor. Oh. Now the fun part. Who gets the point? Chat making a comeback with rubber band. Duh. Obvious. Dang it. Rubber band, man? Rubber band. T.I. Uh, and Amy Banner. Stephen Perry patented these handy little loops in 1845. King C. Gillette invented the best a man can get with his safety razors in 1901. A lot of 1901 items. 1901 had a lot of... Uh... <laughs> oh, go Kim, go. I think it's because they had electricity. Electricity. Ben Franklin. Evented electricity. See, I, I do. I was thinking the same exact thing. Time back, <laughs> Aerosmith. I was like, wait, Stephen Perry. Wait, who's Joe Perry? Joe Perry's Journey. Joe Perry's Journey. Stephen Perry is Aerosmith. Stephen, they should fight. They should fight. <laughs> or the Superior Perry. The Superior. The Superior. Superi. The Superi. The Superior Perry. Superior. Superior. Oh, 1901 is the first year of the... Stephen Taylor. Stephen Perry. <laughs> Stephen Taylor. Who's the other guy? Joe Perry? Joe Perry. Okay, that's right. So First year of what, Tupac? Who's the dude from Journey? Dimebag <laughs> said uh, 1901, first visit of aliens. Was it really? Maybe, oh. yeah. <laughs> All right, what came first? <laughs> Because of the inventions, you know, aliens, pyramids. Plus toilet or stop sign? Don't we'll ask Nancy. Out, we'll find out flush toilet is in 30 seconds. Because what? Don't tell us that. That's gross. Before that was an outhouse. I'm going to show you my flush toilet in 30 seconds. I forgot the question. I swear, if a flush looks like a bodega, we have a problem. Oh, yeah. That's right. Uh, it was toilet or stop sign? Yeah, flush toilet or stop sign. I totally forgot, like, halfway through that timer. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Dime bag, what are we going with? A uh, flush toilet or stop sign? Oh, that's right. There's a chat. Time now for a replay of that super awesome home run that just happened about 30 seconds ago. My man in Chato, oh yeah. What are you auctioning? Oof. Oof. 
he spoke that ball. The chat is locked in with blush toilet. As is the panel. What is a blush toilet? Let's find out. It's a After the answer. <laughs> well, whatever it is, blush toilet is the answer. Oh yeah. Uh, the first blush toilet was installed in Queen Elizabeth the First Palace in 1591 stop signs were first introduced in 1890 in connecticut they had to test that toilet somewhere before they put it in the queen i'm pretty sure they would have not put the first toilet inside the queen's room because if it didn't work well that's what it says off with their head well, it better about, work think about what they had before that in those palaces and stuff it was just um you just kick your foot house inside the house smelly yeah. <laughs> well, it looks like we're keeping a two-point lead. And by where, I mean you guys. Two more outs. We can do it. We're going to win eight games in a row. This is incredible. Aqueducts. Car accidents. Uh oh. My computer is doing lots of buffering, so it's just give it a second car. for me to fix the banner. On the intersection? Whoa. Two semis. Two giant semis. An uh, oot house. Model T's. Oot house? Oot, oot house. Oot house. Right, David? It was green when I got there. <laughs> there we go. It gave me a problem with the banner. Pop up. Okay, what came first? Bob Villa or Bob Ross? Bob Villa? Bob Villa? Vila, Bob Vila. He is he is a national treasure. So, so is Bob Ross. So is Bob Ross. Isn't he an artist, Bob Ross? Yeah, he's yeah. the Afro man. Well, you have thirty seconds. Is it Villa or Vila or have you say his name or Ross? Here we go. Type in the chat. That wasn't me. It couldn't be me. See, I have no keyboard over here. That was I mean, me. No. That was me. I was putting it in the back. Oh, my God. Whether or not it's right, we'll find out soon enough. Um, <laughs> Steinbag. Was it Villa? Villa? How do you say his name? When he's Bob Vila. Bob Vila. Bob Vila. Was it Bob Vila or was it Bob Ross? Steinbag, who do we got? I didn't type anything. He's my um, captain over there. Uh, and technically, so is he because they shared the account. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so they're my captains. I didn't do anything. I'm innocent. I'm just the crew. <laughs> I'm just here, man. I was just playing trivia, man. Hey, man. I like trivia. Uh, Dimebag, are you still with us? Was it Bob Vila or Bob Ross? Man, oh man. More Ross than Vila. We choose Bob Ross as our champion. Okay, they're saying Bob Ross. And the panel says Bobert Rossier. <laughs> Bob Ross. 
The answer. Bobber. Yeah, it's Turtles. How'd you know? <laughs> it was Bob Ross. <laughs> I can't believe I put that in chat instead of private chat. <laughs> Though he started painting happy little trees later in life, he entered the world in 1942. Bob Vila of this old house was born a few years later in 1946. Dang. Once again, everybody gets a point. Two years older than what Stephen you should, Hawking. What you should do is give us the next question while you update points. I could do that. So don't forget, that's why I do it right away before I do the next question. All right, what came first? Jet Li or Jackie Chan? Two very cool people. All right, let me go into the banner. 30 seconds. Good luck. Raining. Raining. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're going to get a really bad storm today, apparently. So we'll see how long it takes till it gets here before I get knocked off. All right, the score is ten to twelve, but we're racing to twenty. Uh, where are we at here? Jackie Chan for the chat and for the panel. Kick Jackie the door, Chan. Jackie. Kick the door. Eh. Chan. 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 Would you believe me if I said that was Jet Li? Uh, it's not Jet Li. It can't be Jet Li. Okay, you're right, Jackie Chan. Okay. I was going to say. <laughs> Jackie Chan was like fighting with Bruce Lee when Bruce Lee was still alive. It has to be Jackie Chan. Okay. Um, the holder of the Guinness World Record for most stunts by a living actor was born in 1954. Lee Lian Ji was born in 1963, later nicknamed Jet because of how speedy he was. Speedy Gonzalez? <laughs> wait, was that again, a question? Everybody gets a oh, point. I thought you were asking the question. I was like, wait, what? That's... I'm confused. I'm back. You got the point. Oh, yeah. okay. Here we go. Another fun one. Of course, for some reason, the next round of months, people relate it, but here we go. Chuck Norris or Sylvester Stallone? Duh. Duh. That's easy. Everyone's saying duh. 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 I hit the timer. Go. Back already. I couldn't even get the score updated. All right. Um, do we ever bet against Chuck? I don't know. You tell me, um, Dimebag, where are we going? We don't. We do not. <laughs> May I have you a final answer, sir, Dimebag? We stand with Chuck no matter what. <laughs> what? Okay. We stand with Chuck. <laughs> he's got to be the at least five years older than. No, yeah, he's definitely he's almost ninety. Chuck Norris. Yeah, he's like eighty. Everyone's saying Chuck Norris because the answer, without a doubt, is one hundred percent Chuck Norris. Yeah, I think Sylvester Stallone's like seventy-eight or seventy-nine. Let's see. Did we get birthdays on this one? 
The legend who is so tough that he once beat the sun in a staring competition was born in 1940. Sylvester Stallone punched his own way into the world in 1946. Yeah. Okay, so 83 and 77? 77, yeah. Sounds right to me. Yep. Wow, right. everyone gets a point. See, I know math. I can do math. Very good, very good. Adrian! We got, we got a new big screen TV. I mean, it's still very close with everybody. It's going to be 12 to 14. What came first? U-Haul or Avis Renicar? Avis? Oh. That's what it says, Avis. Or I just can't read one of the two. <laughs> I'm not. 30 seconds. Good luck. Oh, my thing just went off of my screen. Hold on, I gotta refresh my stream yards on here. So you're getting an extra time. And I gotta update the score. My at Waldron, him and his knuckleballs. You got a little extra time going. Is there two of me again? They better not be. Two. There's one. Okay, good. Oh, I wanna update this and get the timer going. All right. At this point, I'll just update the score and we'll get the answer because by that time, it's been well over 30 seconds. Money. Okay. The answer we're looking for after I get the answer from Dimebag, of course. I almost forgot to do that. Uh, Dimebag, what is the final answer? I hear a sports game. Uh, nah. -uh. <laughs> uh, Dimebag, where are you at? Was it U-Haul or Avis Renicar? He's saying Avis because it starts with an A. Nice. Nice. Okay. There it is, Avis. And the panel says U-Haul. Oh, I love when we get different answers. Panel staying ahead with you. Oh, damn. I was right. Yes. I thought it was Amos, too. Very nice. All right. I thought it was Amos. People, people tired of paying exorbitant, I can't even say it, exorbitant fees to move their belongings cross country were given the option to do it themselves with U Haul in 1945. Avis Renicar came along a year later in 1946. Nice. Dang. World War II. Wait, right. World War I. World War I. Dang it. No, World War II. You're no, right. World War II. Dang it. That was right. That was right. Dang it. Quit arguing with me. <laughs> Quit arguing with yourself. Dang right. <laughs> what came first? Abercrombie and Fitch or L.L. Bean? Uh oh, Cool J. Campers. <laughs> I've never heard of the other one. What the heck is that? I yeah. don't know, but Let's we'll find out eventually. Minute. Let me scroll this back down to my timer. Give you 30 seconds. Is it Fitch or LL Bean? To make it easier, begin. Just got knocked off the screaming yards again. Well, while I'm loading back up on here again, um, 
Dimebag, what is the final answer? Is it Fitch or LL Bean? To make it easier. <laughs> All right, so the chat is locking in with LL Bean. Panel? Uh, Abercrombie. Oh, Abercrombie and Fitch. That one. I guess we're going to end up getting beans because it's Abercrombie and Fitch. Oh, I was wrong. Wow. Let's go. Long before they released racy ads, Abercrombie and Fitch sold high-end shotguns and safari clothing in 1892. L.L. Bean kicked their way into the market in 1912 with outdoor gear and their iconic duck boots. <coughs> duck boots? Boots made out of ducks? I'm assuming so. Wow. I mean, they had to be very expensive or something. That's right, Bird. That's right. All right. The next one is what came first? Tupperware or share? Tupper share? Tupperware or share? Oh. Ooh. I'll put the score. I got up. you, babe. I got you, babe. I still can't believe we have 10 amazing people in the chat this long. Thank you all so much. Let's go. For roll-ups. I can't eat another one of these things. All righty. Uh, Dimebag, what are we going with? Tupperware or share for the chat? You got a little bit of catching up to do. Is Tupper your final answer? All right, they are locked in with Tupper, Tupperware. Uh, Chantel, what did the panel decide? Tupperware as well. Yeah, share's not that old. It is Tupperware. Oh, nice. Another 1942? What's going on here? I don't know. Wait, 42? Who's a 40? Wait, what? Hey, Google things. <laughs> what? Okay. The portable plastic food container was invented by Earl Silas Tupper in 1942. Yeah, another 42 question. <laughs> Cher didn't grace us with her presence until 1946. Yep. Dang it. Oh, it's always off by like three years. Right, David? Plastic was not, not that long ago. <laughs> but everyone gets their points. That's Poop on a stick. Happened. Sheep on a stick. Our brain's going to be all scrambled by the time we are millionaires. I mean, that's going to be the next game. I don't think I'm going to make it to millionaires. <laughs> well, I mean, at this rate, it's only three more questions away at this rate. <laughs> yeah, but at this rate, I still got to get up early. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Um, wow. We may have played millionaire tonight after all. We'll see how it goes. Uh, the, what first? the harmonica oh. or the re the harmonica or the pew pew. What came first? What about Britney Spears or Christina Aguilera? I mean, come on. The harmonica or the pew pew. What came first? And sync Backstreet Boys. Come on. Limp Biscuit. Uh, Limp Biscuit. Thirty seconds or win.
Alrighty, uh, Dimebag, what came first, the harmonica or that little pew pew? Always sitting on stuff. Yeah, I wasn't keeping full track of that one. I don't know how many people have said that. Seven hundred. I wish I had seven hundred in chat. That'd be amazing. That'd be really hard. <laughs> That's outrageous, Cindy. That's crazy. Whoa. <laughs> For the lock in damn bag, what are you locking in? They're locking in harmonica, and we're locking in harmonica. The answer is the harmonica. Let's go! Blues Traveler. The bluesy instrument was invented by 16-year-old Christian Bushman in 1821. Whoa. The Pew Pew, another cowboy must have, wasn't invented until 1835. Oh, it's the revolver. Never mind. Yep. The revolver. Because they had, like, um, they had muskets. Uh, and... They had muskets in the Civil War. Civil War, man! Oh, I forgot what they called the ones they use on the pirate ships. Um, the, those were like in the 1600s and stuff. Yeah. The, uh, I can't remember either. Dang it. Something Busters. Okay, yeah. I can't ask this one. This will be for uh, members only stream when I get that far. Uh oh. Can't ask that one. Oh. Dang it. Yeah, not appropriate. <laughs> what came first, frozen or ice bucket challenge? Frozen or ice bucket challenge? There's the score mm. we're up to. Before I forget that again, 30 seconds. Good luck. Looks like we're divided again in the chat. So, Dimebag, looks like you get the final say what you're going to lock in. Frozen or Ice Bucket Challenge? David Carlisle, you are right. The blunderbuss. David Carlisle, I don't care. I mean, I don't know. Or care. <laughs> <laughs> the chat has locked in Frozen. The panel has locked in. Ice bucket. Ooh. They were close to each other. The answer. The chat makes a comeback with Frozen. Oh, what? I knew it. I've never seen it. Me neither. I've put a question heard mark in the chat. You didn't know it. Are you kidding me? Look in the party okay. chat. There's a question mark. Oh. Yeah, but oh. that was my I'll guess. I'll update the score. No. <laughs> and get chat there. Well, deserved point. I had no idea. I anyway, um, it was a guess. Think Frozen, Elsa. Disney's and animated Elsa. musical was released in 2013. The Ice Bucket Challenge, which was created in support of people with ALS, made people scream from 2014. One year difference. Hmm. Ooh, now things are getting good because now the chat got a point. 
Is there one question left? No, you guys still need two points. The chat needs oh. five. Oh, wait. We got Here. 20. We're at 18. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah, it's a very close race either way. Okay. Um, nobody hate me for this one. What came first? Kim Kardashian or Kim Jong Un? Oh, that's yeah. Well, wait. Actually, that's actually kind of tough. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Thirty seconds. Begin. I don't think the ice bucket challenge was a movie. I think it's literally the ice bucket challenge. People put like stood in ice buckets. Yeah, they mix it sometimes. Anyway, um, dime bag. Are we going with Kim Kardashian or Kim Jong Un? Zilly, you don't know. He might have 34 kids. <laughs> He's saying apparently it's all about girl power. Because that's the right so, answer. Uh, assuming you're saying her, I'm assuming you mean Kardashians. Yes, okay. they're going with, they have Kardashian locked in. And then, Chantel, what do we have? Oh, 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 oof, oof. The answer. Oh, come on, Kim. Here comes the chat with Kim. Kardashian. I freaking knew it. Come on, dang, oh. dang it, <laughs> Mr. Korea up here. This is gonna be a close game eventually. The way it's going. He's got in his thirties still. <laughs> Mrs. West was born in 1980. The Little Rocket Man was born in 1982 without yeah. fanfare. Unlike his uh, dad, whose birth caused a new star to form, winter to change to spring, and a double rainbow to appear. Right. And he also doesn't poop. <laughs> I think it's penalized by, yeah. Dang it. He's a, he's a fan of Dennis Rodman. Of course he's young. Jeez. <laughs> he's a fanboy. I didn't think he was that old. I thought he was younger than that. Oh, no, he is. Yeah, he's young. He's like 39, 38. Can the chat gain ground? It's still a two-point difference. Either way we go. Your next question is, what came first? Nope. Oh, man. <laughs> Paris Hilton. Nope. No. Oh. Nope. Uh, Bruce Jenner. Dang it. I don't want any controversy with the chat with this stuff. <laughs> controversy? <laughs> a lot of cards. What's the fun of right, that? This is fair. What came first? Barack Obama or I have a dream speech? I'm offended. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, see, he also lied on his birth certificate, too. So 30 oh, seconds. Good luck. What are we going with? Maybe that other one was okay. Where did it go? Yeah, that one's fine. I'll bring that one back. <laughs> I have a nightmare. Oh, well. Um, <laughs> Hopefully, it's not on Elm Street. 
Get a yeah. stuffed teddy bear or something. Hey, I got and a nice glass of milk. You want to borrow one? <laughs> okay, they're saying dream speech. Okay, and then we're saying the dream speech. I have a dream. Wait, that's not okay. Would you believe me if I said I was Barack Obama? Told yeah. y'all. I'd, I'd believe you. It's that Barack was my, Obama. That was my gut instinct, but dang it. Didn't go with it. <sighs> nice Nobody job. Nobody gets the point. On I'll August put it 4th, in the private chat. Yeah, that, that was that was my gut. I should have went with my gut. On August 4th, 1961, the 44th president of America was born in Hawaii. Just over two years later, in 1963, Martin Luther King Jr. delivered the famous I Have a Dream speech. Allegedly. No point. <laughs> All right. Here's one of the cards I threw away. What came no, he, first? He really made the speech. No, yeah, the speech was real. <laughs> what came first? Donald Trump or Oh fake my gosh. Tan? You don't want to get you don't want to get all crazy like <laughs> Fake Ten or Donald Trump. Since I did a president question, I must well do one more president question. That was so much more Alex. offensive. That was so much more offensive than the other one. It is a lot offensive. Uh, I'm sorry. Fake tan. 30 seconds. Yeah, how'd you know I had a big tan? This one's gonna be a trick, isn't it? No, this is the biggest tan. All righty. Oh, that nigga saying both answers. I need one to be locked in. Which one is it? Oh, uh, I don't know. Thinking T. That narrows it down to both questions because they both <laughs> would have a T in it. Why so what came first, world? Donald Trump or the fake tan? What came first? I mean, some of them are fake and they just, they come first. All right, you're digging yourself a hole now. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I know. Kidding. 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 You're good, you're good. Kidding. Okay, so they're locking in Donald and we're locking in Donald as well. Oh, wow. You all get a point because it was... Oh, Donald. my God. Nice. I thought it was tan. Which means, panel, you only need one more point to win. How is Donald Trump? The no. orange one was born in 1946. Fake tan as a product was launched in the late 50s under the name Mantan. So much I want to say about that question. <laughs> and well, whoever wrote it. If you're still here, we could do a backstage for a few minutes. <laughs> you Chat, you are up to 17. Panel is up to 19. Which where'd means... They write, where'd they create this game? In Portland? I don't know. Maybe. Jeez. It all know. comes down to the next question. Once this thing um, updates. That's the one with the dog pulling the little girl's pants off. I'm not That's sure how offensive this one would be or not. That's copper. salt, isn't it? No, copper tone. Damn. No, I thought that was salt. That one I'm going to play more safe because that one, history thing on that one is, yeah. That we don't talk about here. Okay, what came first? Boy Scouts or Swiss Army Knife? Uh, Girl Scouts, final answer. Brownies. You guys heard there first. Hmm. 30 seconds.
Okay, Dimebag, what are we locking in? Remember, you need this to be right and you need them to be wrong. Joke's on you. I'm always wrong. Does that mean I'm always right because I have the answer in front of me? You call that no. a knife? Okay, Ooh. they're locking in the Swiss Army knife, and so is the chat. So if it's right, it's game over. If it's wrong, we have another question coming up. The answer is game over. It was Swiss Army knife. Yoink. Wow, that was a lot of fun. And the answer behind it is first produced in 1891, the multi tool was originally named Offensive Mr. Offensive Mr. Messer. That's a mouthful. But American soldiers found that too hard to pronounce. The Boy Scouts were founded in 1910. I give up. You know what? I'll type it in. Okay. It was clear. It's a thing. <laughs> Wait, what just happened? Oppenheimer? I... I'd say I know how to say it, but I just can't pronounce it. Woo! That. Yeah, the right. joke was uh, the Swiss has a, haven't been in a war in a thousand years because they had a badass army knife. That worked. Once my computer stops loading slow. And let me fix this. Oppenheiser Schmidt. Schmitzer. Did you get a passport? Let me just fix this. Discard that question with the other discarded questions. Well, questions we already actually played anyway. Congratulations to the chat. They won this time. I mean, that panel. I knew it was going to do it sooner or later. I would make you guys bigger, but the way my computer keeps freezing. Let's hear it for Tupac, William, and Chantel. Woo! Chat, you played a heck of a game. Yeah, you guys did. For a while, you were neck and neck, and then it was like, chat's like, no. I mean, panel's like, no. I could bring out the millionaire questions. If I have at least, I don't know if William's going to hang out or not. I think you guys are heading to bed. Are you staying for a while longer, or? I'm only going to be on a few more minutes, and then i got to crash out. All right. Hopefully, if William stays, he doesn't use you as a phone a friend and calls you on the stream. It's like, hey, what's the answer to this question? <laughs> All right. Let me just open this. I know I had some around somewhere, but I can't seem to find my preset questions I had here. Or are they over there? All right. Uh, just give me... Um, a moment to get a batch of questions ready. Good night, Termite Treasure. Good night, Termite. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> Nickel stacking. I see the purple pillow thing. You're talking about that thing? That's a squish mellow. It looks like it's like, you had control this whole entire time. You do too. No, I don't. Yes, I thought you're you gonna he needed help with the banners and stuff. You can't control. I do a lot already, man. <laughs> also, no. Zilla, Zilla, I will let you know at another time. I don't want to divulge that information publicly. And don't call me at 4 a.m. I will be sleeping. 
I got to get up early. Get up. I'll hang out for like, uh, maybe like 20 minutes or so, 25 minutes. Yeah, that was fun. That was fun. He's gone. He is. I'm still here. I'm just getting ready <clears throat> for this next game. I'll play. I'll play a round of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, and then I'll probably head out. Head out. That's what I'm setting up right now. We'll make it nice and fast, then everyone is getting ready to leave. Nice uh, and fast. Abducted. I'm going to try and figure this out. Kurt Engel. So I guess, William, we will put you into the hot seat. Oh, yeah. Let's get hot. Yeah, do, 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 do. I'm going to turn my camera around and hopefully you could read the question. Otherwise, I'm going to try and find some kind of lighting somewhere, somehow, some way. Okay. And here we go. Yeah, there's no way. Heck yeah, Nickel Stack can do it. Do it. I dare you. The way you had it earlier, you could see. I mean, let me try and turn this thing around and see if, if it works with this. Works with fish. Come a little closer. What is Allie McBeal's profession? She was a lawyer. Let's see if I could make myself bigger so you could read it. Where am I? Oh, wait, you have control. That's right. So you're saying the answer is A? Yes, A lawyer. Final answer. And that is correct. It was Thank lawyer. You. <laughs> Let's go. Also married Harrison Ford. And you have three lifelines. You have a... 50-50. You have a phone a friend. You could either ask someone on the panel or in the chat. And then you have ask the audience, which will allow the panel and the chat all put in their guess. And then you just decide which one you're going with. Okay. I'm almost set up. All right. Here we go. I'm ready to go. All right. Ready. Let me get the next question going. The 200-point question. Can you read that? Okay, or no? According to folklore, what does the Sandman help children to do? Keep, grow, cross the road, or build sandcastles? Oh, well, um, bring me a dream. So I'm going to say sleep. A, final answer, <laughs> sleep. Of course it's sleep. Let's get to some better questions, shall we? No, I want one million dollars. <laughs> I hope you got a million dollars. I want to well, win. You are, you are two fifteenths of the way there. All right. Yeah, you said all three lifelines. Shocking. I ain't gonna need them. According to Mary Poppins, how much sugar helps the medicine go down? A ton, a bucketful, a cupful, or D, a spoonful? D, spoonful. Final answer. And a spoonful of sugar helps missing go down is correct. Wow, you got three easy ones. When I first played this game. Are you serious? Those aren't easy. Well, the first batch I had was super, like, all over the place. I was like, ugh. I don't think I got past the 1,000 without using all my lifelines. No one would, would have gotten the Allie McBeal question unless they actually saw the show. This is with them for 500 points. What coffee shop may be found in Barnes & Noble bookstores? Oof. Mel's Diner, Costa Coffee, Starbucks, or Seattle Coffee? Ooh, we hit a snag in the line. And you set three lifelines. 50-50, phone a friend, or ask the audience. What coffee shop have you found? Bars and you can't pre-ask if anyone knows the answer to this. <laughs> if I know if I do my 50-50, it's going to be down to the one, the two that I think it is. <laughs> That's always fun. 
<laughs> I want to say Starbucks because it's everywhere. I was just at a Barnes and Noble, but I don't think it's Starbucks. So I'm going to go with 50-50. 50-50. Let me see this so I don't... I'm going to use a lifeline, Frank. There is now one right answer and one wrong answer. Oh, my gosh. Okay, at least I would have gotten it wrong. Okay. Um. Oh, man. Oh, my God. I, I don't even know what the heck Mel's Diner is. So let's go with Starbucks. Final answer, C, Starbucks. That is correct. Let's go. Mel's Diner was... Guess? Mel's Diner was um, the diner on the show Alice. Okay. A, yeah, but I have a Mel's Diner down here. so. I never heard of Mel's Diner. I never heard mm-hmm. of it either. I, I, my second answer was Seattle's Coffee because I was just thinking of like the color tone because I don't, I don't remember seeing a whole lot of greens in Barnes & Noble. Yep. It's weird. So it must be some sort of, I don't know. Oh, which part of a kind and generous person is said to be made of gold? Kidney, brain. Or heart. <laughs> okay, well, I am going to just I'm gonna go with my gut. Or should I go with my heart on this one? Uh, D Where heart. You said D heart, final answer? Let me read this question one more time. Which part of a kind and generous person is said to be made? What part of a kind and generous? A heart made of gold, final answer. It is, in fact, D heart. Let's go. <laughs> I got a thousand dollars. Yeah, that'd be the guarantee on the game show too. Yep. I think the next one is eighty five hundred or something like that. What game show are you playing? Wait. Wait, no, that's wait. Hold on. Oh yeah, this is who wants to be a millionaire. It right. double. Which of these is a popular spicy dish of Louisiana? A gumbo, B Rambo, C bimbo, or D Dumbo? Um, well. You better get this right. Can I have a dash of B with a pinch of C? I'm going to go with A, gumbo. Gumbo, final answer, gumbo. If you got that wrong and Roseanne's here, she would have smacked you so hard in the next month. She's close, oh. too. Oh, she's, yeah. Yeah, she's right there. I don't think Roseanne's here. I haven't seen her say one word in the chat yet. Not even rigged. And we're playing trivia, too, which is crazy. So. Yeah. You still have two lifelines. I got two away from the million. I shouldn't have used that one. I should have just went freaking Starbucks, but it's all right. Sorry, you got to pay the paper. Which playwright married Marilyn Monroe? A, Arthur Miller. B, Tennessee Williams. C, Harold Pinter. Or D, Neil Simon. Hmm. You only have a phone a friend and ask the audience left. I'm... Um... Uh... <laughs> Cindy, the chat's still playing. You're going to be the audience to help William when he calls the audience. My gut is telling me B, Tennessee Williams, but I don't want to do final answer yet. Um, I'm going to... Oh, crap. Um, okay, this is and one I'm not... if you decide to actually call somebody, you must put them on speaker. I just asked someone on the panel. That works too. I'll ask the person who got every question right in the last game almost. So... <laughs> And I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to ask a friend. I think I'm going to ask Chantel. Um, uh, use a lifeline. Chantel, it's all on you now. You're his lifeline. Thanks a lot. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I asked. I, my, yeah, I already asked Chantel. I can't take it back. Which playwright married Marilyn Monroe? A. Arthur Miller. B. Tennessee Williams. C. I want to say Arthur. Okay. She says Arthur. Which is? Arthur Miller. Oh, my God. I'm going to go with Chantel's answer. So, Arthur Miller, A, is that your final answer? Yes. A, final answer. That is correct. Oh, yeah. I was right. That was the only one I knew. I We're didn't still know any it. of the other one's names. Only Arthur. Miller. Oh my gosh! You I had no one idea. Lifeline, and that's the I audience. No idea. Yeah, I'm. I'm saving the ask the audience for for a hard, hard, hard one. Hard. Well, let's see here. You would still be three away from the guaranteed spot. This is only partially there. This is sort of eight thousand dollars. Really? Oh my god! No. 
I can't read this one. Okay. Um, it's really blurry. In 1984, who became the first American woman to win an Olympic gold medal in gymnastics? Is it A, Mary Lou Retton, B, Shannon Miller, C, Dominic Mocino, or D, Nadia Kamensi? Oh, oh my gosh. In 1984, you said the 80s? Yes. Who became the first American gymnast? It's so blurry. Uh, yes. mm -hmm. Let me try and um, put my stuff on the. Um, I'm probably going to have Do it again. Put it again. This is the only one that wasn't that was blurry. So it probably is just waiting to put. There we go. Oh, and it was. It's Move it blurry a little again. bit. Forward, closer. Dang, farther? Dang it. Um, right there. All right, I'm, I'm going to ask the audience on this one. This 1984, who became the first American woman to win an Olympic gold medal in gymnastics? Is it Mary Lou Ratton? Ratton. Ratton, Shannon Miller, Dominique, I can't read that last word, and Nadia, Kam, I can't read that one either. So I'm going to ask the chat. Can I answer okay, yeah. in chat or no? You could. I'm totally going to ask the chat. So chat, feel free to start firing away your answers. Then I'll take whatever answer I feel like is the best. That was my gut. Oh my god, okay. So, okay. So, all right. So you guys were thinking what I was thinking. So I'm going to go with A, Mary Lou Retton. Ret, 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 Retton. 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 Yeah, A. Final answer? Sweet. That's my final answer. A is correct. Awesome. Let's thank you, chat. Thank you. She Appreciate got a that. perfect 10. Yeah, and she broke her ankle on the dismount. Yep. And didn't flinch. Yep. But now you are at a life lions and you I'm still out of life. Yes. I got two more to bank. How many more questions total? It's 15 in total. Okay. So I've gotten like 15. six. Seven. Yeah, one, two, three, five, one, two, four, eight. You got eight done. This is the ninth one. Oh. Oh my gosh. At least we're halfway through. I I this one's blurry as heck. How many? Am I How many the blurry things can we see? Oh, oh, there we go. Wait to the left. To the left. To the left. There we go. How many tents in the back row at the start? of a 10 pin bowling game. Oh. How many pins are on the back row? I know that one too. At the start of a 10 pin bowling game. Three, four, five, six. You gotta know this one, William. Come on. You want me to sing you some juju? Five. C. Total and uh, wait. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh uh, wait. Hold on. Five pins. C. Final answer. Five pins. I am sorry. Oh crap! Who falls? Seriously. Look. Four. Oh my gosh. One, two, three, four. Yep. You would have reduced down to the thousand. I thought he just got the eight thousand. He didn't walk away. Wait, I could have walked away. Oh, you <laughs> didn't know that either. Oh, screw your bowling question. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I got that wrong. I was thinking five, three, two, one for some reason. I'm so. Stupid. I'm gonna turn these on to the other side, and I'm curious to see how far Chantel could go now. I'm really curious. Hey, Dang I'm it. gonna go to bed, everybody. Um, had a great night tonight. I've got to get up in the morning. It was fun. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Tupac. Have a good night. Bye. Yeah, let's talk tomorrow. Right. Take care. We will see you later. Definitely. Dang it. Soon. I want to go farther. I mean, you got pretty far. No. Okay, you're enough. testing me or what? Yeah, I want to test the judge. There's a time limit on answering these questions too, right? Like a 30 second timer or something. Yeah, if you called somebody, 
it's 30 seconds. Audience is pretty much, they had like a 10 second poll and the most popular answer was like the highest bar and so on and so forth. I didn't want to just give you something random like this. What the heck is that? Oh. That's where the, um, if you were all here, I would give you all your own little stack of cards and then the player still has to decide which one they're going with. Okay. All right. Okay, Let me I reset the that. lifelines. All right. Oh, an, I know the lifelines. Yep. I'm just putting them face up so I don't lose track of where we're at. Face up. All right. Here is your beginner's question. Let's do it. D, final answer. That is correct. Japan. And here is the next question. Which super is portrayed on screen by Michael Keaton, Val Kilmer, and, and George Clooney? Final answer. She says Batman. That is correct. Let's go on to the next question. Which city is considered to be the home of country music? Seattle. New York, Nashville, or Boston? C, final answer. C is correct. William's like, these are the questions I should have been answering. Right. It's okay. Let's see how far you get before they get really tricky. Alcatraz is an island off of which city? San Diego, San Francisco, New York, or Los Angeles? Okay, let's see. Shit. You can use a lifeline. <laughs> I know one of them I can eliminate. I know without that one. Oh, man. Let me think. Take your San time. San Francisco. B. B? You got a lifeline. <laughs> Take it. That final no B. Come on. Yeah, go Joey ahead. Brown, come on. B is correct. People putting answers inside the chat. People aren't doing that for me. The heck, yeah, that's not fair, audience. Yeah, that's not fair. Well, it was between that one and San Diego. Just say you know it, just say no. I don't answer, yeah, I don't answer it. Yeah, I didn't know no. they were doing that. No, not you, Chantal. Oh, that's fine, Bill. Uh, I didn't, I guess I didn't say in the beginning. Yeah, you guys are going to be the there. audience, so wait till after they answer, then you can put in your guess. <laughs> All right, All three lifelines. Here is the one thousand dollar question What kind of what part of a kind and generous oh. person? In, Oh, we just did that one. We just did Wait. that one. Oh, that's I didn't D. turn that one around. Final answer. Yeah. Hold on. Heart of gold. Heart of I gotta gold. Give you the... I thought I turned that around. Sorry. Oh. What follows? Look in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Sparrow Guy, Spider Man, Superman, C. or E.T. Spider Man. I mean, uh, Superman. Listen to me. See, Superman. I was confused for a second where that was. And it is C. <laughs> All three lifelines. This judge does not play around. Let's see. Did I get this one? No. Okay. Which what Italian phrase like refers to pasta, which is still firm to the bite? El dente, al fresco, Alberto, albino. I'll say a final answer. You are on fire. That's six questions in. She's on fire. And all three lifelines. Oh, man. I don't she think might I become a millionaire one. tonight. CNN's headquarters are in which city? New York, Chicago, Atlanta, or Washington? Excuse me. Oh, let's uh -huh. see. CNN. 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 Oh, God. Um... Oh, man. C, final answer. That is correct. What? He has not used a single lifeline, and she is destroying this game. <clears throat> I didn't even I know that. I hope she doesn't end up like, I saying final way. answer. Huh? I 
Go ahead. Yeah. I'm going to say final answer to a wrong question. I'll be like, no, you had all three lifelines. Let's see. Shit, I don't know that one. Oh, that I think. I know it's not A. I'm thinking. No problem. William's going for a nice little drive over there. D, final answer. You are unstoppable. D is correct. I had to think of the names. I mean, there is no stopping you. Three lifelines and we're on the ninth question. Oh boy. What type of roses did Maria Osmond sing about? Yellow, stone, Paper or red? Oh my gosh. That is so appropriate. That's the perfect timing. C, final answer. Holy crud, how do you know that? See, paper correct. roses? I was thinking like red roses or something, but wow. This would be the guarantee point if you were on the show and if you were to get it right. And you still have all three lifelines. Holy cow. What must you score to win a set in volleyball if your opponent has 10 points 11 12 15 or 25 i can't tell 21 21 shows you how much i know I'm gonna guess on this one. He still have lifelines. Yeah, there's no need to guess when he got three lifelines. Well, I'll go to chat then. Chat, okay, chat, chat it up. What answer are we looking for? The question is, what must you score to win a set in volleyball if your opponents have 10 points? A, 11, B, 12, C, 15, or D, 21. Shout it out, guys. I guess I'm going to go with D. 21. Is D21 your final answer or do you want another lifeline? 
Final answer. I'm sorry that it's game over. What is it? The answer was C15. Yes, damn. let's go. Damn it, I knew all your questions except for that damn CNN question. Wow, that was fun. Ah, nice job, Chantel. You got far. Yeah, you were on a streak. Yeah, you were on fire. I didn't think you'd be stopped for a minute. I'm like, she's going to win that million points. Dang, it is 15. Let's go. I played a little bit of tennis back in my day. Tennis, that was volleyball. That's a different game. That was volleyball. <laughs> well, it's like the same course, scoring system. It's the same scoring system. Is it really? Um, Sort of, kind of. Not the same, but, I mean, it's 15, oh, yeah, right? I, I, see, yeah. I get you. They love set and match. Yeah. It's kind of almost similar. Kind of almost. You owe me a cake. Uh-oh. Joey Brown. Carrot cake? I see Coke. Zilla owes a Coke. And if I'd have sat here and did the 50-50, my luck, it would have been 15 and 21. Probably. So most likely. We'll never know. I ping just want to take two wrong answers. Love ping pong. My luck, it would have been 15 and 21, and that would have been my... I should have did the 50-50. I was thinking of oh, getting rid of 11 and 21. Okay, I was going to go to A and D. Crazy. I was under the impression it was a tennis question. <laughs> Whoops. That's crazy. Wow. Damn. Yeah, I was oh, going to well. get rid of A and B. Well, that, that was fun. fun. That was fun. And we have eight amazing people in the chat, including you guys on the panel. Thank you all so much for hanging out. Woo! It was awesome. Uh, I don't know if we all want to keep playing. We could do some fact or fiction. Those are fast <laughs> questions. I'm probably going to head out of here in a minute myself. Yeah. All righty. I'll just hang with the chat then if they want to stay. Um, if I continue cool. streaming, guys, do you want to play some true or false questions, or do you guys want to head out as well? It's I'll leave it up to you guys. Okay, thank you, Joey Brown. Thank you for coming by. Anyone else want to play for a little bit? I don't think I'm doing backstage tonight. Backstage. Ooh, excuse me. No, you're fine. I will hiccup that dang fruit roll up. <laughs> Let's go! Hey, thank you for having me, Solar Keeper. It was awesome. Well, when did you get here? We gotta play that game together. Oh my god! Ah! No, come back! Whoa, what just happened? I don't know. Wilma was here a second ago. Let's do that. Right. It was crazy. Whew, that was fun. Who wants to be a millionaire? Right? Okay, I want to be a millionaire. Me too. I mean, if I had like Mr. B subscribers and his kind of money, and guess what? I just found the set of questions I have pre-ready already. No, oh, dang it. Yeah. That happened. <clears throat> Well, Dragon, it was awesome, man. I had a yeah, lot of fun. Yeah. Good time as usual. I appreciate that. And is West Coast streaming later on tomorrow? Your time today, my time? I think so. I think so. I'm going to try to do game night every other Saturday, but I'm going to try to fill in the blanks with something, some sort of something interesting. So I want to make game nights extravagant, so I'll put a lot of time into them and try to do them one, one, one or bi-weekly. And then for the fill-ins, I'll try to figure out something. So I'll do something tomorrow night. I'm not exactly sure yet. I'm thinking about doing a West Coast show where it's like like a variety show where there's all kinds of weird stuff, including games and Omegle and looking at weird stuff on the internet together. Nice. Maybe some trivia. So, yeah. Be sure to check out West Coast on Saturdays when he goes live. And if you haven't, give him a subscription. Yeah, I just went on a Squishfellow adventure uh, yesterday. I recorded the whole entire thing. It was awesome. Go check it out. I'm going to upload way more content to that channel. But uh, yeah. You can post your link, too. I think, Dang it. You can tell. I think you have like, yeah. a shortcut. Right, if you guys I'll want, you can post your link if you want to. Oh, there's a shortcut? I can put me, huh? I think it's... Uh, no, I think you. I think your shortcut's West. Exclamation West. I'm pretty sure I have you as West. Let me check that out real fast for you. As long as Nightbot is working for me, it should pop up. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it's West. Come on, Nightbot. Work for me here. 
If it's not, you can find me here. Yeah, if it's not, my nightbot doesn't want to work, and I don't know my shortcuts, apparently. Yep, it's in the name. Just West Coast Retrospective. That's all you got to remember. You click that in, and you are there. But no, thank you. I appreciate that. No thank problem. You. But yeah, it should be fun. Going to be doing a bunch of different stuff. I thank you. I thank you for having me. I thank you for joining me. And you know what? I think I might have made yours longer than I thought. What is it? Exclamation West Coast? It is. All right. Let's try it's that. West Coast. I will have to make that a little bit shorter for you. Exclamation. That was me. Yes. But yeah, no, it was awesome. No, oh, there it is. Boom. There. Woohoo. That part works. And so is my stream labs. Woohoo. I was going to test that out too eventually. Glad that works. Awesome. So yeah. Let's hear for our amazing panel with Chantel and William from West Coast Retrospective. That's me. That's her. And thank you, everybody, so much in the chat for hanging out for almost three hours with me. And minus my technical difficulties, I really appreciate each and every one of you and those thumbs up and subscriptions. Anyone have some sign-offs or no? Sign language. That works. Oh, whoa. whoa I, I mean, never, ah, never mind. I can't do sign language. Anyway. No, it was awesome, man. Always a pleasure having fun playing games with you. So thank you. Thank you again. Uh, muchos lobos. Absolutely. Uh, we can end it with a fact or fiction, fact or fake question. Uh -oh. You could see a peso, a plamas, and pitos in a flamenco dance. Is that true or false? Before false. we leave the stream. False. False. Surprisingly, that's actually a fact. Oh my God! What is a pesos? I don't know. All right. Well, ending on a high note. Yeah, that's a taste of the next game we could play. Well, well. All right. Until next time, everybody. Keep hunting. Keep stacking, and have a good one. We'll see you real soon. And thank you all for watching and hanging out with me tonight. Bye. Bye, Bat. everyone. Bye. Good night.